one of the ways that a two-way frequency table is useful is that we can compare the numbers and make an inference about uh, these groups of people. In this particular chart, we have 200 students were asked, do you have a curfew or do you not have a curfew? And do you have to do chores or do you not have to do chores? And the results were, were pretty interesting. Uh, in this problem, we're going to examine those results by looking at percentages. So we get an idea of what percent of students you know, have a curfew or have chores or, or uh, some other things here. Let's take a look at this. The first one says, what percentage of students have a curfew? So the have a curfew is the 63 and the 21 together. So we need to add those together to find out how many students have a curfew. 63 plus 21, that equals 84. Now to get a percentage, we have to divide that by the total. So 84 divided by the total of 200 students. And then we have to multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. I'm just going to pull out my calculator to do that. So 84 divided by 200. So that's 0.42. And we multiply that by 100, we get 42%. So 42% of students have a curfew. I'm just going to put that right here, 42 percent. Okay. The next question is what percentage of students have chores? So now we're going to have to add down here the 63 plus the 39 and that is 102. And what percentage is, well we'll use the same kind of calculation, 102 out of the 200 students. That's going to give us a decimal and then we'll multiply that by 100. So 102 divided by 200, and then times 100, that's going to be 51%. So have chores is 51%. So about half of students have chores, a little less than half have a curfew. The next question is where it starts to get interesting. It says, what percentage of the students who have a curfew have chores? So we're only looking now at this line right here, the have a curfew. What percentage of those have chores? Well, it's 63 out of something. It's not 63 out of 200 because we're not even looking at the kids who don't have a curfew. It's actually 63 out of 84. That's the total of the kids who have a curfew. So let's figure that percentage. So that's going to be 63 out of 84. And then we multiply that by 100. So grabbing my calculator, 63 divided by 84 times 100, and we get 75%. That's a bigger percentage. So what it looks like to me is that if you have a curfew, you're much more likely to have chores. And I guess that makes sense. If you have the type of parent who's going to give you a curfew, you might also have the type of parent who's going to ask you to do chores. So let's fill in our answers here. We got 42% for this one. We got 51 for this one. We got 75% for this one. And let's look at D. D says, is there evidence that students, students who have a curfew tend to have chores more often than average? And I say yes, because the percentage of students who have a curfew have chores at a rate of 75%. And that's higher than what we found in the population as a whole, the have chores was only 51% in the population as a whole. So let's see if we can find the right answer here. It's definitely going to be one of the yeses. That's what I'm saying. And it says yes, because the percentage found in part C, that's the 75, is much greater than the percentage found in part A. Hmm. Well, part A just asks what percent have a curfew. So I, that's not really the comparison we're trying to make. The next one says yes, because the percentage found in part C is much greater than the percentage found in part B. Yeah, part C is the percent of students who have chores who have a curfew, and part B was just the percent of students of all of them who have chores. So that's what we're comparing. We're comparing the 75 to the 51, and the 75 is quite a bit greater. So I'm going to take the second answer here. So that is how to analyze the data in a two-way frequency table in order to, in order to make an inference.